Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we create this cute looking little fur monster in Adobe Illustrator. So in our today's video, we are going to see that how can we create a vector version of this little fur monster very easily in Adobe Illustrator. So without taking much of your time, let us jump into our tutorial and see that what steps we need to follow to create this cute little fur monster for ourselves. So this is a very simple procedure that you need to follow. First of all, once you have opened your Adobe Illustrator, go to file and create a new artboard for yourself. Then as usual, I'm using a custom 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels artboard and I'm going to name it as fur monster but that's totally up to you and you can name it anything that you want and then click on create or press enter key once you've got an artboard for yourself what do you need to do is uh, just grab onto this ellipse tool and draw a circle using this ellipse tool perfect now you can just uh, make sure that its fill is set to none and the stroke is said to something uh, like a black color or a one point is perfect width for the stroke then just select on this shape and pressing on the shift and the alt key just drag it towards the right and the reason we are doing this is by pressing on the alt key we can create another copy of the circle and by pressing on the shift key we are going to move it in a straight line Okay, so now this is the kind of the shape that uh, you need to get for your circles. Then once you've got this shape, you can just select both of these circles, go to windows and here you will find an option of pathfinder. So just click on it. And in pathfinder, inside the shape modes, you will find an option of intersect. So just click on it. And when you do, you will see that the area with the both circles for intersecting is now visible to you and that's the only area we are concerned with so once you've got this area uh, then you can just click on it and just increase its size a little bit by pressing on the shift and the alt keys together all right so this kind of the size is what i'm happy with and this is going to be the base shape for our little fur monster. So you need to make sure that uh, the dimensions of the shape are the exact dimensions of the fur monster you want for yourself. Now, once you're happy with the dimensions, what you got to do is again, go to the ellipse tool and again, make a circle by pressing on the shift key, but this time it's going to be smaller than the previous ones. Okay, so this much circle is good. Then just uh, make sure to have no stroke for it and just fill it with a gradient. Now, uh, make sure to select a gradient so that um, it fits your requirements because this is the same gradient with which our fur monster is going to be colored with. So as of now, I'm going to select a purple and a pink shade of the gradient like this. And I'm just going to adjust a few of the settings like this stylus uh, i'm going to set over here and uh, this is the color the end result of the gradient is what i have got and i'm pretty happy with it but again it's totally up to you it's totally your choice whatever gradient combination you want that's best for you then once you've got a perfect gradient for yourself just uh, create another copy of the circle by pressing on the shift and the alt key and dragging it towards the downside like this now once you have created the copy for the circle then select both of them go to object here you will find an option of blend and just click on make now just double click on the blend tool and make sure that 
its spacing is set to specified steps and the value of the steps is set to at least 300 and then press ok now once you've got that what you got to do is just select both of these shapes that is one the circles and then this uh, base shape for our for monster go to object blend and there you will find an option of replace spine just click on it and you will see that uh, this kind of a shape is created which is not very good so for that what we are going to do is make some adjustments just select on your base shape then go to the add anchor point tool and then just click over here and here to add anchor points like this so basically you're going to just join these two parts together so this kind of a shape would be created and that's exactly what we wanted this is going to be the base shape of our monster and the effect of the color you can see it's looking very good now it's time to create force for it so now for creating the force what you got to do is just click on this base shape go to effect here you will find an option of distort and transform so in distort and transform you will find an option of roughen and this is the roughen effect that we are going to apply just click on it and um, just make sure that the preview is turned on and as soon as you do that you can see that some kind of force have been started to create and just increase the value of size to a 50 percent and also increase the amount of detailing to a 50 percent now you can see that the force have been created like this and if you want you can also change the points to smooth instead of a corner like this or these are the values that i'm happy with but if you want you can just play with the values of size um as per your wish so as to get the perfect for combination for yourself now i'm happy with 65 percent of the size so that's what i'm going to keep and once you're happy with all the values you can just press ok now the base shape of your fur monster is created like this you can just uh move it to anywhere else that you want now what we are going to do is um, add some more details to it now you gotta adjust it like this uh, to the center then these details would be in the forms of the googly eyes and a mouth so for the googly eyes what you got to do is just grab onto the ellipse tool and change its fill to a pure white color like this and draw an ellipse this time you need not hold on to the shift key because we do not want a perfect circle but an ellipse shape like this and now change its color to black and then draw another ellipse for the eyeball like this all right now you can just uh, select and both the shapes and group them together by pressing on ctrl g on the keyboard and once it's grouped you can again duplicate it by pressing the shift and the alt key and drag it towards the right side for the second eye of your monster like this yeah that looks good to me then we are going to add a cute little mouth for this monster and for that what we are going to do is just grab onto this curvature tool now you can just increase its curvature like this once you are happy with it you can just keep a black for an o like effect or you can color it with red whatever you want or whatever suits with the background of the color of the fur monster now this is what i'm happy with and uh, one more thing if you want you can just uh, select on this base shape of the fur monster then go to object and click on expand appearance now when you do that this fur monster would be changed into this fur shape now instead of the base shape we have this whole fur shape now what is the advantage of it once you can click on this fur shape then go to gradient panel or the palette and you can change its gradient to literally any other color that you want so it would be helpful if you want to change the color of your fur monster to anything else that you want like i'm changing it to shades of green and yellow and then uh boom its color is changed like this so 
that's all how you can create a four monster for yourself in adobe illustrator and i hope you all have enjoyed this video for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye